know that I don't belong to the female sex, but <laughs> all my paperwork says I do. The conversation that we need to have needs to move beyond a conversation about tolerance and needs to move into more of a conversation of acceptance because no one no one likes to feel tolerated that's not enough everyone likes to feel accepted and understood and included and i think we're still at a level where we just look at tolerating each other i'm melissa casey i graduated from the graduate certificate in executive coaching in 2013 and i'm currently living in calgary my name is Ann Z, and I'm a graduate of the Bachelor of Commerce program uh, back in 2009. So Melissa and I both thought that it would be a really cool idea for both of us to come together uh, to, to sort of do this video mm -hmm. uh, because we actually come from both very different backgrounds, mm -hmm. we have very different experiences, but this is our common ground and the common ground is our conversations around diversity. The LGBT community is bad. And without these conversations, there are a lot of young people that are feeling very lost and feeling very alone. There's a lot of misinformation in the general public, and there's still a lot of misinformation within the gay community. And so just further discussion will help educate, will make everyone more comfortable, and allow everyone to feel more accepted. It allows people to ask questions that may be left unasked, could lead to prejudice and allows those people who are going through experiences, say like transitioning genders, to get the information and the education that they need, because right now it's very hard to get it. Hello, we're here with some students at Royal Roads University, and so I'm just going to ask, what does diversity mean to you? Diversity means accepting that different doesn't mean bad. Overall, I would say it was very good. And I would say that my experience as somebody who is identifying as a lesbian was largely very typical of what I experience in everyday life. The thing that I have a concern with there though is that often it's a case of invisibility. So just a really quick example would be within the course that we were taking, there was a couple of people who were having a very light-hearted, very well-intended joke. And the joke was really on the premise that there was two people that were of the same gender and the joke was that they maybe had an attraction to one another. But when you are somebody who comes from that perspective or from that background, it sends a message that something about myself isn't normal or isn't something that fits in. So it's sometimes those really small moments that I think as a group we have to look at that are happening that we don't notice, but that do have an impact on those that are identifying within that community. Hello, my name is Yining Chao. Our world is interconnected and very colorful. Let's celebrate diversity and let's talk about it. In our final semester when we were doing our final project, I was on a team of people and uh, when we were done we had the opportunity to go for dinner. And I remember one of the fellows was doing sort of a round table, uh, you know, asking everyone how long have you been with your your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. And when he got to me, he, he became very silent. If we don't have these discussions, then nothing, nothing will change, nothing will improve. But if we do have these discussions, we have the opportunity to change lives. I hope that further talks about and with the LGBT community will lead to greater education for people inside of it and outside of the community and that will help to create better safer policies and support the people who are going through a really difficult time in their life. We need to look at our marginalized communities with compassion and accept them and encourage them and include them in the community at large so that we can be a stronger society. Most guitars are made of trees, most guitars are made of